Alright, cool. Ooh. That's good to go. Goes for the Young Link option. Young Link versus Greninja. Game number one. Alright. I'm gonna let you take this one. Because I gotta upload some of the bombs. Do what you gotta do, man. Let's let us start things off. Dreams have quite the task against a Young Link. I'll tell him that, though. Backward aerial connect. I really gonna get some offense going himself. Dash attack, no follow up. Water shuriken. I got projectiles too. Drop in neutral air. Directional air dodge the other way. Fully charge the shuriken. By the way. I the first one I thought was a miss input, but going for the remix. He's going for the remix of the remix with another hero spin. Doesn't pay off too too much for him. Bomb goes out, boomerang connects. Being able to follow up the hero spin. Dreams might be uh, getting a solid read on their opponent. Heavy options coming out of shield, up smash, up B, and percentages that won't kill. So Dreams very well might be thinking, I could probably space out of forward air and bait some kind of panic option. And oh yeah, have a ball. Out the counter. Oh. Oh. Trying to pose on him. I feel like a back throw there would have been better. Yeah. Gonna have to agree. Ooh! Hello, goodbye. Yeah, you just gave him right. You just gave him the stage right back when he went for down throw. Like, go for the go for the back throw. Get all the stage. I like what Dreams went for there. He tried to counter the bomb explosion to, to get the counter. Didn't pay off, but I like where it's at. These options out of shield, I, I'm becoming increasingly concerned for him. Because the more he tries to go for these up smashes, hero spins out of shield, the more Dreams is going to be ready to hard punish that. He's going to need to play in deep. He's calling out a lot of his good options really early as well. Just giving Dreams just way more time to adjust. Something I've noticed so far is it looks like Dreams is just able to kind of go in when he wants to. On paper, I figured there'd be arrows, boomerangs, bombs, and the like to really make a Greninja change their approach. I mean, just up special, spot dash, <laughs> up special. <laughs> oh, okay, but that downer just watch your noggin. Straight down. Oh, I didn't fill in that part of the scoreboard. These hero spins. They're, they're not not working out so far. But we've seen the animation a few times. Forward smash connects one and two. Dreams jumps back on, gets the counter. Hello? We got the counter. That teleports. On the, on the boomerang, yeah. I guess it just went right back to where its source came Wild. from. Wild. If I'm high rule, I've become really concerned about throwing out projectiles after witnessing something like that. I did not realize that Greninja teleports to the person. I thought it I thought the direction just came out of wherever they got the counter. Interesting. Catches the down air with a dash attack. Dreams of the full control of game number one. Up smash though. Stage a little bit better but uh, tossing the bomb in the air and then just doing the third Oh no! Got to be quick on a draw. Oh again! I, if I'm high rule, I'm increasingly concerned about throwing out these projectiles. He's finding out the hard way. As much ultimate as I've seen and played, I straight up did not know that Greninja's counter sent him directly to the opponent off the projectile. Yeah, I guess it just kind of comes back to wherever the source is. Kind of like how Shadow... I wouldn't say which Shadow Sneak, but it's like... It's pretty much just Shadow Sneak and a counter. Yeah, that changes the dynamic of this matchup a lot. Because there, there's enough wind-up on stuff like Boomerang, or if you telegraph your bomb setup, to where that counter is going to be pretty reliable. On the game, too, though, Battlefield, perhaps there's some combo game potential here for Young Link. See what Hyrule's gonna be able to come up with. Water Shirt pushes into the ledge. Going out the bombs. Ooh, okay. The hero spin. Wanted, wanted to get the backer out of it, just didn't get the full off. He got a short time. Hyrule using the neutral air to his advantage. 
And for the percentage lead for the moment, so the adjustments seem to be working out. It looks like Dream's overall game plan is starting to slow down. He's starting to offer a bit more respect. I actually feel like the platforms on this stage make the aerial approach next to impossible for Greninja. It makes it a bit more one-dimensional. Maybe that's what's working out for Hyrule. The hero spin. Oh, and he gets caught in it. Looked like Dreams was trying to go for a parry or something like that. Pays the price all the same. Tether grab. Hooks him up. That's bombs. A lot less arrows, though. Dude, he threw that bomb from, like, game one. Like, <laughs> it was way back. Forward air pushes him. Ooh, looking for the shadow scheme to take the stock. Does not connect. That's finally some arrows coming out. Something I really want to see Hyrule do more. Yeah, you got these arrows that can combo into a bunch of stuff. Like Rest using the air dodge, it's punished with the dash attack. Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's Kyro. He's like, yeah, I knew he was going to go for that counter. I Catches oh, him with the up air, but the little pause there, that was 100% a read. Yeah, it's like, oh wait, you're gonna jump. He's like, I'll you're, jump you're, here. You're, you're gonna jump right now. Good job. Okay, well, yep. All right, more boomerangs, more bombs. Uh, arrow, maybe? Yeah, great. Dreams hasn't really been contested off stage. So far, I rule has the lead, so perhaps he's like, I don't need to. I'm yeah, good. Doesn't have to do it. Just get it out. There's the roll, spot dodge. Stop the potential assault. More sure he can change the trajectory of the landing. A hero spin, just just for giggles. Ooh. Uh oh. Bates out the down air. No one home. I rule going back to the boomerang. Water sure can you jump over those? Bomb does connect. I rule fishing for nares. <laughs> this dude has, this dude has did three nares in a row. I, I've I've seen I've seen it before. Oh, down yeah. air though. Yep. The, the second lineup. time. He's catching Dreams overextending a little bit, so. Dreams needs to put a helmet on. At this yeah. point, he just needs to get these one twos, bread and butter combos, whatever one twos that he can get. Surprise! Where, where the, okay. oh, no! Why would you do that? Oh, really? See, now you see? Save? That's what you get. <laughs> That's what happens. You go for the, two, you go for the oh. Twitch clip. He gets the stock all the same, but, uh. That could have been over like that, 10 seconds. Yeah, that, I'd <laughs> file that under almost like taunt to get body. If he, if he got rocked somehow. I mean, when you're behind, you got you got to have some sort of mental event. You know, maybe, maybe that was just kind of like put some mental damage on him. So that well, next stop would be easier. Know, sometimes when I see stuff like that, the, and the, the player in high rules position survives and comes away with the stock, we're like, He's getting some momentum. I become emboldened. It's like, all right, you're not gonna. I'm not gonna go out like this. So he might have just poked the bear one time too many. Very much in kill territory. Dash attack puts him at 139.6. Screams has some work to do. Shadow sneak, cheeky stuff. Uh oh, there's the net. Oh no. Okay. Directional. Ooh. Chowson put him, up, put him off the stage. Went for another one. Gonna get it though. This is actually pretty scary. The second jump call out. Ooh, doesn't oh, get the strong hit of the up smash. That might have been. Oh! What? Got him. The snipe. So far behind, bro. <laughs> he said, You're looking for wow. game three? You must be dreaming. And then Hyrule's like, but your name is Dream.